Hello everybody, it's Bokyuk, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use Word Edit in Minecraft 1.19. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to download and install World Edit for Minecraft 1.19. Now, luckily for you, over the last two days, I have made tutorials that will show you exactly how to download World Edit for Forge and Fabric for 1.19. So, once you download World Edit for 1.19, there is one other thing that you need to have enabled to make sure the World Edit works, and that is cheats. So, whenever you create a new world, you can have the option to turn cheats on in your world. You want to make sure that you have cheats turned on. If you have cheats turned off, then world edit isn't going to work. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to give yourself a wand. Now you can do this by entering the command slash slash wand and hitting enter and then boom a wooden axe appears magically in your inventory. Now this isn't just any wooden axe, this wooden axe has magical powers because this is going to be your world edit axe. So once you have your world edit axe, the next thing that you want to do is learn how to set a position. Now anytime you want to set a position, you need to select two different blocks. The block that you want your first position to be, and the block that you want your second position to be. So if we're going to set an area to a certain block, we're going to left click our world edit axe, this is at our first position, and as you can see it'll say uh, coordinates which are 3, 59, 4, and then you want to use the right click feature on your mouse to select the second position, which is negative 7, 59, 15. So once you have your position set, you want to enter the command slash slash set, and then you want to choose any Minecraft block. So we'll just choose stone. And once you select your block, you can hit enter, and boom, as you can see, the area that we selected just turned into stone. And that is pretty much all you need to do in order to use the set command. So the next command that we're going to learn how to use is the walls command. So I'm just going to grab some more stone here and we're going to build some walls around our little floor of stone that we have right here. So whenever you're doing walls, you want to go ahead and select a position. So I'll just select this first position down here and then I'll select my second position up here. And then you just want to enter the command slash slash walls. And then you want to hit space and hit stone. That is, if you want to make the walls stone, and hit enter, and boom, as you can see, our walls are now stone. If you want to make the walls a different block, like oak planks, we can do walls, oak planks, and hit enter, and boom, our walls are oak planks. So as you can see, we already have a nice little Minecraft house that we have going for us right here. So now that we have our walls command, the next command that we're going to learn how to use is the stack command. So I'm going to place a block of stone down here on the ground. And I want to make this stone block go 25 more blocks farther out into the distance there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my position. And then I'm going to select my position again. And by the way, the first and second position can be one block. So you can do left click and right click on the same block. And War Edit will still work perfectly fine. So once you do that, you want to do slash slash stack. And then you want to type in a number. So I want to make my stone blocks go 25 forwards. I'm going to type in 25. And then I'm going to see this selection where you can see back, down, east, forward, etc. So I want to make the blocks go forward. So I'm going to hit forward and then hit enter. And then boom, as you can see, we now have a line of stone blocks. And if I select the positions... Then it will say negative 16, 60, 29, and then in other parentheses, it'll say 26, and that's because we have 26 blocks worth of stone selected right there, because we had our original block, and then we stacked 25 more blocks of stone on top of it to get a total of 26 blocks. So anyways, now that the stack command is complete, the next command that we're going to learn how to use is the copy command. So we have our lovely selection of... Um, our stone block line right here. So I'm going to select this first position and then I'm going to select this second position. And I already selected the position so the chat already recognizes that. And I'm going to copy this stone. So anytime you want to copy something, you want to stand like directly in front of it or at least in a place where you can recognize where you're going to copy it to. And you want to enter the command slash slash copy and then hit enter. And that is literally all you have to do to copy. So the next thing that we're going to learn how to do is the paste command. So if we're going to paste this stone uh, block line right here, we'll go a few blocks down here. And then we'll put slash slash paste and hit enter right like so. And we have our blocks pasted. And that's pretty much all you have to do to paste. 
Now, the most important thing to learn and to remember with the copy and paste command is that when you copy and paste something, you want to copy it in a recognizable position. Because I'm going to show you what happens if you don't. So we have our selection of stone right here that we have. And we're just going to do slash slash copy up in the air. And then we're going to fly way over here. And we're going to do slash slash paste. And then we can't even see the stone because it's in the ground. If I fly really high up in the air and do slash slash paste, then our stone gets way over there. And we don't really know where we're pasting it because we just kind of hit copy in a random spot in the air. So that's pretty much all you need to do and know for the copy is to just kind of stand like right in front of it whenever you're copying it. So that way when you paste it, you stand right in front of the block you want to paste it from and then it appears right where you want it to. So the next command we're going to learn how to do is the rotate command. So we have our line of stone right here. So we're going to select it. There we go. We have our position selected. And anytime you want to rotate something, the first thing that you have to do is you have to copy it. You always have to copy something before you rotate it. So whenever you are rotating something, you want to do slash slash copy. And boom, we have our selection copied. And then you want to rotate it. Now with word edit, there are four main degrees that you can rotate it. There is 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. And 360 degrees is just rotating it right back in the same position that it's already in. So we won't worry about that for this tutorial. But if we want to rotate it 90 degrees, what we're going to do is we're going to type in slash slash rotate. And then we're going to hit space. And we're going to hit 90 and then click enter. And in the chat, it'll say the clipboard copy has been rotated. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do slash slash paste. And then boom, as you can see, our stone blocks are rotated. And we can repeat this as many times as we want. So we'll just do rotate, if I can type here. And then hit paste. And then if we fly up, you can see that we now have a lovely line of stone blocks that are kind of going in like a cross pattern. And so that's pretty much all you need to do to rotate. The most important thing to remember with rotating is you have to copy the rotation first and then you have to rotate it and then you have to paste it. The next command that we're going to learn how to use is the replace command. So going back to our wall of oak planks here, I have these oak planks, but I don't really want them to be oak planks anymore. So I'm going to select the position here using the left and right click and I want to change these oak planks to spruce planks. So what you're going to do is you're going to do slash slash replace and then you're going to hit space and you're going to type out oak planks or whatever block you want to replace and then you're going to hit space again and we're going to type out spruce planks because we want to change the oak planks to spruce planks. And once you do that, you're going to hit enter and boom, as you can see, our oak planks are now spruce planks and we have that right like that. And you can do this with anything. So like if we want to change this area of grass here to water, we'll do replace space grass block space water enter and boom as you can see our grass blocks is now water so that is pretty much all you have to do with the replace command now another thing that you can do with the replace command is actually very useful for advanced minecraft builders is you can set a percentage so like what say that i want half of this wall to be spruce planks and half of it to be oak planks so i'm going to select my position again here and then i'm going to do replace space spruce planks and now this is where the fun part comes in we're going to hit space and now we're going to type out 50 percent spruce planks and then you want to do comma 50 percent oak planks and then you want to hit enter and as you can see exactly half of the blocks are spruce and half of the blocks are oak planks now and this does take a little bit of practice. A lot of these commands take a little bit of practice. So as you are watching this video, I would recommend going into your own Minecraft world and trying out these commands as I try them. Do it a few times with different blocks to familiarize yourself with the world edit algorithm. And just go ahead and it'll make the world a difference of you actually doing it yourself hands on. So that is just my personal tip for learning how to use word edit fully and effectively. But anyways, as you can see, we have our spruce and oak plank wall, so we have completed the replace command. Now, there are two more commands that I have left to show you that are extremely useful. And this first command that I'm going to show you is the undo command. So let's say that I just did an action and word edit, like change half of these spruce planks to oak planks. But I look at this and I say, well, this doesn't really look good at all. 
So I'm going to undo this command by doing slash slash undo, hitting enter, and boom, our spruce planks are back where they are. And that's literally all you have to do with undo. And you can undo any command that you make in world edit. And you can also undo multiple times. So like if I do undo again, it's going to undo that patch of water. If I do undo again, it's going to change it back to oak planks. So as you can see, I can keep doing undo for a very long time and it will go ahead and like take away everything that I've done. Now, the only important thing to remember with the undo command is once you save your Minecraft world, like once you hit escape and click save and click the title, you cannot undo any more actions. So anytime you're using world edit, make sure that you're 100% sure that you're happy with what you're building before you save your world. Because once you save that world, there's no going back. There's no undoing until you open up a Minecraft world again and make more changes to it. And so the final command that I'm going to show you today is the redo command. Now the redo command is very important because what we're going to do is we're going to do slash slash and then we're going to type out the word redo and hit enter and it's going to redo our actions. And the same thing applies as the undo command. Once you save your world, there is no redoing. Like that's it. You can't redo anything else once you save the Minecraft world. So you can tinker around with the undo and redo commands as much as you'd like in your Minecraft worlds. But just remember that once you save the world, there's no turning back. So without further ado, guys, that is the completion of this world edit tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed learning to how to use world edit in Minecraft 1.19. Thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day.